Okay, in this video we're going to look through some example questions of exponential functions. So we have a population being modelled using the function p equals 2000 times 1.2 to the power of t where t is measuring time in years. And we are asked for the initial population. Now the word initial always means at the beginning, which means that no time has passed. And so for no time to have passed, that means that t equals 0. And so that means that our population will be 2,000 times 1.2 to the power of this 0. And if you were to calculate this, you would actually get 2,000. And that's because there's a fact you would have learned from ages ago that actually any number to the power of 0 always equals 1. And when you multiply by 1, nothing happens, and so it's just going to be 2,000. So in general, the number you get here is almost always going to be the initial amount. Because, again, when you take a power of 0, that always goes to 1, and so it's like saying when no time has passed, you're just going to be left with this number at the front here. Okay, so for the population after five years, all we have to do is just shove five into the t. So our population will be 2000 times 1.2 to the power of five. And if we quickly calculate that, what we're going to get is 4977, where I've rounded to the nearest whole number because we're counting how many people there are. And the last one here just gets us to draw a graph of this. And as you can see, there's no grids. There's no real scale given. And what that tells you is that we are only interested in you knowing the shape of the graph. And it's not really about the detailed points. So we only need two points. We need t equals 0 and t equals 5. Now we know that at zero, the population is meant to be 2,000. But where is 2,000? It doesn't even matter. Okay, we just put it somewhere here. We just say it's 2,000. And we make sure we start there, because that's the initial population before any time has passed. And then for t equals 5, we know we're meant to be at 4,977, which is a chunk more than double that. Let's just put it here. So we'll go 4,977. And the shape of the exponential from the previous video should be something like that. It's just got to be speeding up as we go. So the graph needs to get steeper as we travel along it. Okay, and so it might be helpful to just indicate that that's the um, 4977 there, and this is for 5. And we may as well keep this going as well. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, a bit of just calculation here, but really understanding the role of this number at the front here, telling you the initial amount or the initial value. Okay. All right, the other one I want to do is maybe requiring a little bit more interpretation now. So we're given a Another equation, but this time that starting amount a is not immediately given, but we have a graph. And so to get the value of a, this is really testing whether we have understood what we just talked a lot about, which is that this number here is the initial amount. It's what we have if x were to be 0. And so that means to find this value of a, all we have to do is look back at the starting amount here, and there it is. It's going to be 1.5. And then the next one says, what is the daily growth rate of the pig's mass? So we're tracking the mass of a pig as it grows, and we want to know the daily growth rate as a percentage. Now, it's important that the only way to sensibly answer this is as a percentage, because as we've seen with these graphs, it's actually getting faster and faster and faster. So it's not like we can even write down the growth rate as a 
mass as a kilogram number even if we wanted to because that's changing the whole time. It's speeding up. So the amount of growth, say, on the first day is quite small compared to the amount of growth, um, say, from day 12 to 13 or something. It's growing that much. Okay? And so that's why we're doing it as a percentage. Now we want to think what is happening every time one extra day passes. Well, because the power of x is being applied to 1.1, we know that uh, every day, I want to be really explicit with this, every day the mass of the pig is multiplied by 1.1. And so we can interpret this 1.1 to really mean one whole copy of what the mass used to be plus an additional 0.1, which implies that there is a 10% growth each day. Okay, and so that's how we can interpret that number. It's telling you, so that second number here is telling you what we're multiplying an extra copy of every time we step across by one. And when we multiply that extra copy of this number, that can always be interpreted as some sort of percentage increase or decrease as we normally do like that. Okay, so that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you later.